Hi, my name is Daniel Thrasher. Scott is behind the camera, and he's gonna give me 16 of the most popular books in the American school system. And I have to answer questions about these books. Let's see how many I get right, and how many make me sad. The Giver. The Giver. I know it's about this like dystopian world where everybody sees in black and white. Let's hear a quiz. What color symbolizes the world of ideas and feelings that Jonah discovers through memory? Blue, green, red, or black? Blue? It's red. All right, so that was embarrassing. Uh, okay, what's the next book? Catcher in the Rye. Oh. It was written by J.G. Wetworth. <laughs> what is that? J.D. Salinger. J.D. Salinger. What or who is the Catcher in the Rye? Is it Holden's dream job, Phoebe's favorite stuffed animal, an old college buddy of Holden's father, or a symbolically important drinking class? Let's say symbolically important drinking class. No. Okay, I don't know. It's his dream job to be a catcher in the rye. I don't know what that means. It's a guy who stands in a field of rye and well, a bunch of kids play and when the kids get too close to anchor on a cliff or something and when as the kids are about to fall off the cliff, he catches them and lets them go back to play. And it symbolizes- That book sucks. Okay, Lord of the Flies. What is the major symbol of order and civilization in the novel? Hunting, the conch, the beach, or piggy's glasses? I would guess the conch. That's right. Oh, is that like Yellow Jackets, like the show? The female reboot. Oh, wow. Literature matters. <laughs> Tequila Mockingbird. Tequila Mockingbird. <laughs> what is Boo Radley's real name? Boo Radley. No, that's not his real name. <laughs> Arthur, Jean Louise, Nathan, or Henry? I think it's Nathan or Henry. Wrong and wrong, it's Arthur. Man, I really, I'm very illiterate. Where the red fern grows, who dies attempting to attack old Dan and little Anne? Is it Papa, Grandfather, Reuben Pritchard or Rainy Pritchard? It's gotta be Rupert Printerd. Is it? Uh, no, it's Reuben Pritchard. That's what I said. The third one. You See. Said it, you said it wrong. I only read nonfiction. I remember a lot from nonfiction. I just don't do fiction. My brain doesn't attach to it like that, which is so weird because that's all I make. Frankenstein. I read that when I was like 11. Okay, what is the monster's reward for saving a girl from drowning? He is shot. He is given a meal and a room and a place to stay. Definitely not that. <laughs> <laughs> he is beaten and chased away, or he is cursed and ignored. I think he's beaten and chased away. No, he is shot. Dang, he was shot? Literature is horrible. The Grapes of Wrath. I don't know anything about it. Grapes of Wrath are about this dude named Wrath, who's a rapper, and he's got a bunch of grapes. What do the citizens of California angrily call the migrants? They call them hobos, okies, riffraff, or bonzos. Okies. That's right. The Metamorphosis. Oh yeah, it's about a guy who wakes up as a cockroach. Very close. So the question is, what kind of creature has Gregor become? An unspecified bug, a dung beetle, a gypsy moth, or a gigantic maggot? The first one, unspecified bug. Yeah, he's not a cockroach. But in the pictures, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, they <laughs> make him a cockroach sometimes. The Great Gatsby. Where is Gatsby's mansion located? Is it East Egg, Park Avenue, West Egg, or Brooklyn? East Egg. West Egg. Dang, I knew it was Egg something. The Odyssey. The Odyssey by Homer. Uh, it's about Odysseus. Who transforms Odysseus's sailors into pigs? Is it Calypso, Athena, Poseidon, or Cirque? I'm gonna guess the first one. No, Cirque or Kirke. The last one? Okay. Uh, the Outsiders? Yes! I did a book report on them. I actually made a video project on this called The Insiders. We were all like spies and my friend's mom drove us around and like I leapt from a moving vehicle. <gasps> Shouldn't have happened. But that was one of the first videos I've ever made. What is the name of Soda Pop's horse? Is it Daniel, Captain Steve, Lightning, or Mickey Mouse? I'm gonna guess, ooh, Mickey Mouse. That's Mickey Mouse. Mm. Of Mice and Men. What does the novel suggest about the American dream? <laughs> Only for the rich, that anyone can achieve it, that it's impossible, that we have already achieved it. Uh, it's impossible. Yeah, that's right. Horrible. What a stupid lesson. What a meaningless book. Huckleberry Finn. Yeah. Tom Sawyer paints the fence white, convinces everybody else to paint the fence for him. He dies. Three days later, he comes back to life. More or less. Down which river do Huck and Jim travel? Is it the Missouri, the Mississippi, the Ohio, or the Chattahoochee? The Ohio. No, the Mississippi. That's what I said. Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Easy. Let's get a quiz. Yeah. Where do Romeo and Juliet first kiss? At the feast where they meet for the first time? At their secret wedding in Friar Lawrence's cell? In the Capulet family's orchard? Or in the Capulet family's crypt? In Shakespeare's play, I don't think they kiss until the final scene. That's what I thought too. But no, it's uh, at the feast where they meet for the first time. Dang it! Oh. Hamlet. Love Hamlet. Get thee to an honorary. Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? I am myself indifferent on Hamlet is about opening up a McDonald's in Las Vegas. <laughs> what is seen as causing the fall of Denmark? 
Indecisiveness, lack of military power, international relations, or moral corruption? D indecisiveness. According to Sparknotes, it's a moral corruption. I think there's an argument to be made. It's definitely indecisiveness, because the majority of the play is debating on whether or not he's going to kill his uncle. Yeah. 1984. Mm. What does Winston trace in the dust on the table at the end of the novel? 2 plus 2 equals 5. I love Big Brother. I love Julia. Or O'Brien. Maybe I love Julia. Feels like an act of rebellion. What no, is it? it's not a happy ending. He writes 2 plus 2 equals 5. So it's like, in the end of the book, his spirit is broken. Yes. Well, if you feel bad that you don't remember a lot of stuff from literature, doesn't mean you can't be creative and stupid like me. Emphasis on stupid. <laughs> this video was sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, welcome to my happy place. You know, it wasn't always easy for me to get here. At one point, my anxiety was so bad that even just the thought of me leaving my house was enough to send me into a full-blown panic attack. <laughs> but luckily, I signed up for BetterHelp and started chipping away at my anxieties with my therapist, Elizabeth. If you want an Elizabeth of your own, BetterHelp will assess your specific needs and match you with a licensed professional therapist. It's the world's largest therapy service with over 25,000 therapists to help you with your unique situation. And it's fully online, so you can talk via text, phone call, video, whatever makes you feel good. <laughs> And because they know it's important to find the right match for you, they make it both easy and free to change your therapist, no questions asked. I've done it. Not a big deal. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional therapy, it's more flexible, and you can get an additional 10% off your first month using my link. So visit betterhelp.com slash Daniel, that's better H-E-L-P dot com slash Daniel, or click the link in the description to start taking charge of your mental health today. Merch!